What do you have, a very small number of people in the country right now with it? It's like around 12. Many of them are getting better. Some are fully recovered already. So we're in very good shape. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the third annual dating game here on LZ Films. As you can see, unfortunately, we had to do this virtually this year because of the endemic that's going on. And, uh, well, we got a special one for you this year. Why? Well, typically we have a bachelorette and three contestants willing to fight it out to get that date with our bachelorette. But this year, we're actually going to have three female participants, and they're going to be matched with our contestant or bachelor, Mr. Corona. Josh, why don't you say uh, a couple words to the audience? Of course. I just wanted to point out, I have to open this in a second before I blindfold myself. I got some Pink Floyd Rosé tonight. Um, but Great. I just want to remind everyone to re live by the Coronel Credo. Clear, plain, confident. All right, you want me to blindfold myself? That would be, that would be wonderful. Josh is not gonna blindfold himself so he doesn't see what our contestants look like just yet. And also keep in mind, it's uh, if I make any noises while blindfolded, I'm sorry. I can't really mute myself when I'm blindfolded because I can't find the mute button. What, what noises? I'm just saying in the case that like I cough, I sneeze. Right. Right. Yeah, things yeah, like that. You, you put on the blind wall. Thanks. So now we're going to introduce our lovely ladies. We're going to start with contestant number one. Go ahead and uh, reveal your camera. And this is contestant number one, also known as Amanda. Amanda is a world-renowned Instagram famous artist. Um, she actually just sold me a piece that I have hanging up. Um, well, not hanging up, but, you know, it's somewhere. It's probably in the basement. But um, anyway, Amanda is, uh, how old are you again? 23. She's 23. Oh, you're getting up there, huh? Um, and uh, <laughs> give a round of applause for Amanda. All right, so now we're going to move on to contestant number two. Please put on your, your camera. Uh, this is contestant number two, also known as Marissa. Marissa is a um, also Instagram famous and TikTok famous baker. She has her own uh, baking and catering company, correct? And uh, she is, uh, how old were you again, sweetheart? 22. 22. All right, everyone's around the same age. That's great. And I present to you, everyone, contestant number three, also known as Claire. Claire is uh, a little bit of a meme lord, but she is also very proficient at crochet. Um, Claire, by the way, is it, what is that, like French? Um, I don't think so, no. What is that, like yarn? It is, y yes, it's yarn, yeah. It's yarn, all right. I'm not really familiar with the sport, but um, I'd love to play. I know they play that a lot in France, so. So how the game works this year is we're gonna have three rounds. In each round, each girl is gonna ask Josh a question. Now, based on his response, they're gonna give an, a ranking for each question, zero out of five. Zero being the most distasteful, five being the most agreeable. At the end, we'll get to find out who got the highest score. Whoever got the highest score gets matched with Josh and they get to go on a date, a virtual date, of course. It's a pandemic, got social distance. So the first round that we're going to cover now is uh, themed as Breaking the Ice. And uh, now we're going to start with uh, contestant number one and see what she has to ask for Josh. All right, Josh, what's something about you that nobody knows about? Jesus, why don't we start from the top again? Because I have no clue. What, are we going to get a play clock going down over here? What day is it? It's February? I've meditated every morning. It's February 5th. I haven't talked to anyone about that. I meditated every morning. You meditate every morning? Yep, I meditate every morning. Huh? There you go, Amanda. You meditated every morning. Whatever you think I'm about pretty, that, pretty just, just jot it days. down. Just jot it down. Jot it down. Now, contestant number two, what's your breaking the ice question for Josh? Uh, what are you looking for in a woman? Ooh, I love this one. Someone who's honest. Someone who's like fascinating and fascinated. Someone who is available. 
I like that answer. That's, that's a good one. Marissa, feel free to jot down whatever you thought of that answer. And uh, finally, contestant number three, Claire, uh, what's your question for Breaking the Ice with Josh? Josh, if you were trapped on an island, what's one thing you'd need and why? Okay, Claire. Um, one thing that I would need, I'm so, uh, uh, like, dependent or addictive, but I would, I would drink my coffee on the island. You know, that's a Just... pretty smart idea. That's a good, yeah, that's I mean, a good you, you need something to drive you in that morning so like you can get through whatever challenges or journeys you have that day on the island. You know, you can always get a pot, start a fire. Bear grills over here. Anyway, uh, we're going to be m moving on to uh, the second round, uh, or the second theme, I should say, has to do with relationship goals. Um, and contestant one, Amanda, you can go ahead and ask your question and we'll get to learn what exactly relationship goals Josh has. Okay, Josh, it's our one year anniversary. Where are you taking me out to celebrate? Oh man, one year? We could go out to a bouncy house. You know, they have those like rebounders. Those are rebounders. And then after that, get some ice cream and go to watch a movie after. Yeah, not for nothing though. Call a ice cream, a, a, a bouncy house. It's something more akin to like, you know, seven-year-olds like birthday party oh, but, i mean on, we all have his own teach his own teach his own anyway <laughs> moving on to contestant number two marissa what, what kind of question do you have in regards to josh's relationship goals if you were looking for a place to live what would be uh most important to you uh, i hate to uh, feel like i don't have like a connection with all you guys and attachment but i mean i do like this risk of like moving around and you guys know that because I went over to Wisconsin last year. So I would want to go somewhere that is different, somewhere that I'm not familiar with. Right. And to the ladies that don't know, um, Josh actually just moved back from Wisconsin. He was there for, how long were you there? Like a couple months? Like a time, 11 months. Yeah, right. He lived over there. He made cheese. He was living off the land, um, raised a couple cattle, and he came back. And, uh, mm -hmm. and so... Yeah, he's definitely uh, very explorative, if that's the correct term. Claire's a teacher, she should correct me. Is explorative the right word for that, Claire? Um, yes. Perfect. Yes. And now, Claire, you get to ask your question as to what Josh's relationship goals are. Josh, if another guy came up to me and slapped me on the ass, what would you do? Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, come on, hold on. I'm just gonna have to, uh, I'm not trying to like cause any beef or anything. I'm not trying to cause any fights, not out in public. I'm not gonna go all balls out and start punching the guy. Or uh, let's approach the situation. You know, this person just slapped your ass. That doesn't mean, that, that probably means that he's not all. Yeah, who said chivalry was dead, right? Modern, mo a modern man with a modern solution, right? We don't have to go to, to, to punches and, and kicks, we just, Handle it diplomatically, right, Josh? That's not particularly my style, but hey, the age is on. God bless. Moving on. Um, the next set of questions are going to be pertaining to um, kind of issues that might come up in a in a relationship. Also, like you know, trouble in paradise, so to speak. Uh, Amanda, why don't you go ahead and ask Josh your question for any relationship issues that might come about? Josh, what would you do if I told you I wanted to start an OnlyFans? Oh, Amanda, you go ahead. I'll support you. I'll be your wait. first buyer. Hold on, wait a minute. You, so you're okay with that? I, I mean, I, I think I, I could mean, pick anybody out in this audience, and I don't think any any guy would be okay with that. I mean, like Jake, for instance. Uh, come, come, show your face, Jake. Sometime today. I gotta ask you a question, Jake. <laughs> Anytime, Jake. Come on, Jake. Please, enlighten me. Enlighten me on how you would be okay with your girlfriend opening an OnlyFans where men could uh, presumably see her naked. Honestly, you look at it, you gotta say like, well, where's your priorities? Is it really here? If you're getting some success off of it, sure, you're making some money. Um, could you be making money better off elsewhere? And is this gonna interfere with your professional life? Potentially. If that's the direction you wanna take, who am I to say that you can't? Not my answer, it's yours, and you're entitled to your own opinion. God bless. 
Contestant number two, Marissa, what what kind of uh, question do you have in regards to relationship issues that might come about with Josh? So what would you do um, if you found out my mom wanted to move in with us? I could be understanding, but I'd also want to see it more as a temporary thing rather than a permanent thing. I just don't like to be so bonded down like that, or tied down like that. So maybe that's even a temporary thing for me. Hey, Josh. Is she going to be moving spot to spot? What's up, Tony? I got a question. What if uh, what if the mom is a MILF? Right. After that soliloquy, um, we're going to uh, move on to contestant number three and her question with uh, any relationship Wait, is this, issues. Is this the last question? We got we got a bonus round coming up. Uh, easy. Oh, oh, oh I'm easy. sorry. I'm sorry. Bro, why do I have questions coming after me in one video you wanted to be the contestant baby that's it that's how the game works now stop interrupting claire and let her ask a question please Don't worry, claire thank you josh i have an ex that won't stop contacting me what do you do call the police get rid of that guy uh, i mean if he's threatened if he's just contacting you and he's like a, i mean if he keeps contacting me that sounds like stalking to me call the police to each his own again, but you know, I don't know how they handled things over in Wisconsin, but whatever. So basically, um, all the girls have had their questions answered, and at this point, we'd like to move to a little bonus round where uh, the girls have actually chosen members out of the audience to ask Josh um, questions from their final round for their final round. Um, so at this time, I'd like to invite the audience member for Amanda to come forward and ask a question to Josh. Hello there. Um, so Josh, uh, I heard you like to cook omelets. Uh, what is your preferred, uh, topping for omelets? Thank you, I'll mute myself. Tomatoes, ham, spinach, and put some seasoning like cayenne pepper, salt and pepper. But it's it's more than just a. But not peanut butter, bro, bro. Is that what we're coming at? You can make a fantastic peanut butter egg sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, that's that's great. Now we're gonna call forward um, Marissa's audience member to go ahead and read the question that they have prepared for Josh. All right, Josh. So your boys want to go out on a Wawa run but your girlfriend wants to spend some quality time with you, what do you do? I've been spending time with my boys like uh, 90 plus hours that week and I've got to give some time to my girlfriend. Of course, you got to dedicate some time there. So like you schedule it out. Kind of look at my schedule, see what happens. Okay. Oh, was that it? Sorry. Uh, lost track of time there. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you, Arjav, and thank you, uh, Josh, for that answer. I hope uh, the contestants were paying attention because the show wasn't. Um, so now we're going to call forth um, Claire's um, audience member to go ahead and ask a question for Josh. Hello there. So my question to you. Hey. You know, Josh, every woman needs to know that their man has what it takes to please a woman. Oh, my so my God. question to you is... Yeah. Anthony. What is your idea of having a kinky time? Just like that, I think it's almost, um... Yeah, Anthony, Tony, Tony, Tony. I mean, I guess this is like after hours from the uh, bouncy house into the bouncy bed. I, I got my playlist prepared. I got my, and the, the stripper playlist prepared. I got the stripper lap dance prepared. I got the stripper equipment so we go in with the, tri again, trifecta, and we make it happen. Yeah, you know, I'm curious. You're saying you got the moves. Can you show me some of your moves for us on camera? Blindfolded? I didn't know we were going for However you want. Questions over here. Yes, please. I need some music. And I need, uh... Uh, don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll edit that in. Anthony, I love the question. Thank you for bringing it in. Yeah, really thank you for the mixing thing. the rules and asking two questions when it's only supposed to be one. Now turn off your camera. Bye. Take take care, Anthony. All right. So that concludes um, all the rounds for uh, our lovely ladies to get an idea of 
who Josh is, what he likes, and what his preferences are in the kitchen, living space, the bedroom. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick intermission, tally up these scores, and uh, we're going to have a very suspenseful read-off of who gets to be matched with our bachelor. All right, so the scores are in. We've tallied up, and we uh, know who's going to be going with Josh tonight on their virtual date. Um, so to start off, we're going to start with who scored the lowest. With a whopping 9 out of 20 points, Claire, you are not going on a virtual date with Josh. You gave him a 9 out of, out of 20 possible points. Was there something that yeah. struck you as kind of like atrocious with Josh? I mean, I don't blame you if you did, but um, I was struck by his response to X calling the cops. I think is a little bit extreme. Um, yeah. especially given the, like the current climate, I don't know if you no, know, if I'd call the cops. Um, but I don't know. I just don't think we're compatible. Maybe for next time you keep that in mind, Josh. Thank you for participating, Claire. Um, you know, even though you're not going on a date with Josh, we do hope that you um, continue on your journey for finding that, that right person. And thankfully for you, it's not Josh. So we got two more contestants that could potentially be going on this pandemic virtual date. And it is a close one. The, these scores are very close, but uh, the runner up here is gonna be Amanda with only 12 out of 20 points. Amanda, uh, you're not that much higher than, than Claire's score. Is, is there something that also didn't uh, sit right with you? Well, you know, Josh, that sounded like a really amazing date for an anniversary. Um, I would get a little bit tired in a bounce house, but it sounded really sick. Um, however, I really don't like omelets. So I don't think we're made for each other. That's to that's totally fine. I like you know, it's food. You switch it up. Over time, as a lot of his responses were, a lot of O's going on today. But I'm happy to announce our winner, Marissa. She actually scored uh, Josh's responses a 15 out of 20. So it looks like Josh really did impress Marissa the most out of uh, our three bachelorettes. Marissa, is there anything that you really liked about what Josh said that that pretty much set you guys up to go on a date? I mean, he was pretty just like, you know, upfront. He knew like the right things to say, but I had to score him, you know, a little low on the uh, bopping around across the, the country, the traveling thing. That's not me. I don't do that. I'm an East Coast girl. So you yeah, know, that's my thing. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're definitely uh, Jersey strong, right? As we would say. Yes. Uh, I completely emphasize with that. Uh, yeah, Josh is definitely more of like a kind of a wild traveler kind of guy wants to go out west and make cheese and live off the land and um you know that might not be your vibe but it seems like a lot of the other answers that he gave resonated with you so that's great and you know even if it doesn't work out long term i think you guys have some great chemistry to uh work on this uh virtual pandemic date all right at this point now that we know who won uh cornell in the matchmaking game we're gonna ask Mr. Cornell to remove his blindfold and take a look at his uh, lawfully wedded date. Well, give me a second to adjust my eyes to the light because it's been dark. Yo! I can see. What's going on, Marissa? How you doing? Cheers. Cheers. Let me pour, an, uh, let me pour a shot for this. Or half a glass of wine for this. But it's a pleasure to match. Thank you for choosing me. Problem. So all rights reserved. There we go. Yeah. I'm excited for this virtual day. My time has just about expired and I can't wait to um, leave here and, and make myself some um, a midnight snack because it's almost midnight. But uh, I appreciate everybody for participating in the third annual Alze Films dating game. Uh, I'd like to thank in particular Marissa, Amanda, and Claire um, for taking time out of their busy schedules and their busy endeavors and hobbies to help us keep this tradition alive. Um, because with the pandemic, who knew that we were going to be able to do any of this? I'd also like to thank um, 
Jake, David, Anthony, Arjav, um, and Sam and Jonathan for being our lovely audience. Josh, thank you for being um, a great bachelor and thank you for making yourself look very attractive in front of a bunch of females um because i know that's very hard to do and uh mostly thank thank you to john for putting this all together and directing this great thing all right clap clap with me i'm holding my phone okay round of applause for alex the one and only host yeah. of the dating the dating game yeah alex oh Thanks, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Now. Everyone say bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone. Take care. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for participating. This guy Jake yeah. fell asleep, man.